name is Mark and I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Roma people. They are a people group that originated out of northern India and the numbers are hard to quantify, but they're estimated more than a million people that have migrated throughout northern Africa, eastern Europe, and western Europe. Roma people are definitely marginalized in all of the countries across Europe. And I've seen them struggle to get jobs. I've seen them walk around with barrels, looking for tin cans for metal scraps. I've seen the children selling Band-Aids at the restaurants that you're sitting at on the streets. I've seen the mothers walking around with newborns in their hands, asking for a dime, asking for any kind of nickel. They're, they struggle with providing for their families because of their marginalized status. They don't have jobs. They don't have education because they don't have the money to provide for books or school uniforms and because of the education it's just a cycle no jobs no education no education no jobs often times they believe the lies that are told about them one such statement that i hear often is we are stupid because we are poor we are poor because we are stupid and it's just this cycle that cannot break Unfortunately, it's a reality for them, and I've seen them struggle. One of the individuals that come to mind was a, a lady uh, from the Roma community in uh, Albania. As we were touring around, uh, we came across her home, and she had um, a very severe speech impediment, and she had three small children. And her home, when we looked at it, all the windows were gone, all the doors were gone, all the um, appliances that she may have had in the house, the toilets, the plumbing, everything was gone. And she had been, just came back from the hospital where she was spending about a week in the hospital for a uh, condition she had with her lungs. When she got back, everything that she had was stolen. And so the only thing that remained was a couch and a pile of clothes. Um, so it was raining that day and the water was coming in and she had no food. She had a little bag of rice and that's all she had left. And so we um, immediately sought to take her and her children and get them into an apartment so that they could be uh, safe and away from the elements. Through the, the gifts of the donors at World Challenge, we were able to provide Darina with a home that we could rent for her and uh, her children to get them out of the immediate danger that they were in. Their children go to a school that one of our partners runs where they are provided a meal each day and they are provided training and it's really the only education that a lot of these kids get. Updates on Darina, she's doing well now that she's safe, her health is improving. There is a smile on her face and a smile on her children's face. Uh, they are in a warm, uh, loving environment in their home. They have shelter, they have food, they have the basic essentials. And so their outlook on life has changed from one of, of just fear and uncertainty to one now of safety. Uh, this is something that's a brand new experience for her family they've never had in their entire life. Much like Christ transforms us once we accept Him and, and our lives are completely changed, um, Christ working through World Challenge, working through the partners on the ground, reaching out and being uh, exposed to people like Darina that we can help, and her life is totally transformed.